Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, we're diving into something straight out of science fiction. It's an AI CAD software called Atom, or AdamCAD.com, and it's claiming to be able to create 3D models using nothing but text prompts. No drawing, no manual modeling, simply a text prompt or description of the part you'd like to create. Imagine typing in, create a modular desk organizer, or create a pencil or a coffee mug and boom you've got a fully realized 3d model ready to get printed in seconds we're going to put it to the test and try out this beta software that i've been lucky enough to get access to with some fun and simple prompts ranging up to some more complicated ones to, to see how it handles it as well as editing and revisions and exporting things like 3d printable stl files let's jump right into today's video the first thing you'll probably notice is that AdamCAD is entirely browser based. You simply go to their website, sign up or log in, depending on if you can get access or in on the current beta or later on once they've opened it up to everyone. That means there's no installations or setups. You just simply open the tab, log in and you're good to go. The interface is super clean and pretty approachable. It's like a lot of other AI tools if you've been using them recently. You've got the prompts at the top and then the ability to create new ones and then edit the ones that you're working on. I was immediately impressed by how easy it is to get started. And I do think new CAD users are going to appreciate this process. You don't really need to know anything about the CAD side. So hobbyists that maybe just picked up a 3D printer and are looking to create a couple simple projects, this would be a great starting point. You simply enter the text prompt describing what you need and the AI gets to work generating the model. While you can see the parts are pretty simplistic at this point, consisting mostly of one piece simple objects, uh, the coolest thing about this software isn't necessarily that it's AI producing these, but it's how fun and easy it is to iterate and create these simple and kind of wacky designs in seconds and then edit or start over instantly. You can literally just type create a simple chair design and in seconds you've got a fully formed 3D model ready to take a new request. You can make a new request or addition and the model is updated right away based on what you've asked it. Maybe what's even more neat is that the model is easily and instantly editable based on these sliders to the right here. You can modify different aspects of the design and these aspects and options are iterative depending on what the design is. Whether it's resizing elements like holes or slots, making things larger or smaller adding features or changing up the details you can use these sliders to kind of tweak it on the fly and see the results almost instantly on the screen next to it it's also simple to start a new part and chat with the click of a button up on the top left clicking that is going to allow you to create a new part in seconds and the speed and efficiency here could save product designers and kind of hobbyists countless hours pretty easily uh, especially during the concept phase where you're just kind of trying out new things and seeing what it would look like it's pretty cool and fun to play with i think the one key feature of atomcad that is going to get a lot of new users to give it a shot is the ability to directly export these files into a .stl file format which is perfect for 3d printing as I mentioned, there are a lot of new users coming into the 3D printing market with the affordability and ease of use of many of these new machines. And while I don't have one on hand to try it out, I could see this being super uh, easy and useful tool for anyone doing uh, home kind of little projects and wanting to just try out a printer with something that they made themselves and didn't have to buy or download off the internet if they're new to CAD but still want to get into that 3D printing. Now with where the app is at currently, if you start to really push the prompts to more complicated objects or things with multiple parts and more difficult like text problems that you're getting it to solve, you're gonna quickly see its current limitations. You can see I've tried a few more difficult prompts here and you can see it's not quite figuring it out yet. But I've also been told by the creators of the app that they are consistently working on improving it and adding more complexity uh, they even have plans for an Atom Copilot that's going to integrate seamlessly within like professional grade CAD software like Fusion or Onshape. And I could really see an add-on like that being useful to a lot more, uh, say, professional designers like myself. Those that 
know the CAD software, but also know where you can cut corners or uh, use AI to speed up the process. If it's able to take in the context of your current model or project that you're working on, provide suggestions, make direct edits for you based on text prompts, and optimize your design on the fly, kind of combining AI and generative design in one tool and uh, co-pilot, that would be a huge benefit. So is Atom the future of CAD design? Well, honestly, it might be in time. Uh, I think the software is definitely on the right track and I had a lot of fun playing around with it. I've used a lot of ChatGPT and Claude AI and that kind of stuff for text-based AI uh, generation. And this is the first time I've really played with the 3D design ones. And I'm surprised how much it can do for how early it is in, say, the beta stage, uh, partic particularly for hobbyists who have now picked up those printers and are making objects they've bought and are ready to step into creating their own rather than just downloading them off of Thingiverse or Maker World or one of those. In its current beta state, AtomCAD is fun to play around with, uh, especially for those single part objects that are pretty easy to describe. In future versions and iterations, it seems like more complex objects will be possible, and I'm pretty excited for that, along with the ability to maybe export an editable file that I could then bring into Onshape or Fusion to tweak. That would be super useful, uh, especially if it gets rid of all of the more tedious initial creation, and then I can just start shaping and fine-tuning uh, my object uh, in the more powerful CAD software. I'm definitely excited and a little bit cautious about what this means for designers in the future. I'm excited and interested to hear what you think. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried it, will you try it? I highly recommend any designers such as yourself to give this one a shot. Go sign up on their website to get into the beta and give it a try. Uh, while it's not going to replace traditional CAD software right now, it definitely fills a niche uh, for fast, efficient, and fun user-friendly modeling. Uh, or if you just want to try out AI 3D CAD modeling, uh, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, I know I'll be keeping a close eye on how this technology develops, how Atom CAD kind of moves through its beta and into wide release, and I'm excited to see where it goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments again uh, if you've used it, what you think, and uh, what you'd like to see in the next one. Cheers, and have a good one.